For those dealing with seasonal allergies, an over-the-counter medication may do the trick. But when it comes to severe allergic reactions, an EpiPen may be necessary. On tonight's Health Beat, Kelloland's Sophie Heineman shows you what to do if you are having a severe allergic reaction. Yeah, so. it's a memory Azra Belhaj won't soon forget. He started to, you know, act differently, and then he got the rash on his face, and his tongue started to, you know, swell. So we called 911. After working at a daycare for 18 years, Belhaj had to put her emergency training into action as a toddler in her care began having a severe allergic reaction. So we called 911, and I had an EpiPen because mom brought it. So I followed the directions from 911, and I gave him EpiPen. Thanks to her training with EpiPens, Belhaj saved his life. But unfortunately, that's not always the outcome. One of the things as a paramedic that we run into is that people have been prescribed an EpiPen or someone they know has been prescribed an EpiPen, but they have either not been properly trained how to use it or have forgotten how to use it because they haven't used it for so long. Paramedic Matthew Gruco says he's noticed that some people aren't sure how to use one, oftentimes not leaving the injection in the body for long enough. It takes a few seconds to get all that epinephrine out of that pen into your system. Uh, so. It's just a small amount of medication, but if you don't get the full dose, you're not doing yourself a whole lot of good. He says the injection needs to be in for three seconds. According to the EpiPen drug facts, it should only be injected into the middle of your outer thigh. Paramedics say it's crucial to know the difference between having an allergic reaction and anaphylaxis. Suddenly my kid has broken out into hives. Uh, they're, they've got snoring respirations or really high-pitched respirations. That means that airway is closing in on a child. That's definitely a life-threatening emergency. A terrifying situation, but one that requires using your knowledge and staying calm. You're not supposed to panic, you know, you, because you have to be there for that kid, you know. So you just need to stay calm. With Health Beat, I'm Sophie Heineman. Well, since a severe allergic reaction can happen to anyone at any time, health officials suggest everyone learn how to use an EpiPen.